Medication Order Entry. During this module, we'll review on the most efficient way of searching for medication orders, as well as order entry for single medication products in various formats. In addition, we'll review what actions are available on med orders, as well as what to do when a patient lock occurs. For most efficient medication order entry, close out the menu tab as well as the orders view tab to minimize scrolling. When searching for a medication, you'll note compared to the patient care and lab orders, all medication orders are indented. Also note, some medications that are on all capital letters indicate that those are medications with multi-ingredient products, such as your IV piggybacks with additive and diluents, IV fluids, as well as your continuous strips. Let's start by reviewing a single medication product, Genomycin Pediatric Injection. When clicking one of these medications, you'll be presented with multiple order sentences. For most efficient order entry, click on a desired order sentence. Although it may not be exactly what you're looking to order, it's much more efficient starting with a sentence than starting with none. For instance, this medication order was dosed as a weight-based dose with 2.5 mg per kg. If I ideally wanted 2 mg per kilogram, I could place that order detail and still have the opportunity to change order details such as a frequency from Q12 hours to Q8 hours. Other order de entry details available are such thing as duration and order priority. This could be changed from routine to stat, and a duration could be added of seven days if desired. Sign the order and refresh to view the new order that was placed. When searching for a medication, and seeing a red diamond, that indicates a non-formulary item. In the event that there's an auto sub available to a formulary item, you will not be presented with a red diamond. This is because when selecting that medication that is auto sub to a formulary item, the order details that automatically be placed are going to be for the formulary item. When searching for a medication order that happens to be a patch, you'll be presented with a care set. That care set consists of more than one orders, one being the patch removal. For instance, nitroglycerin with a patch removal of every, every evening for a nitro-free period. When selecting the actual patch, you'll note that the two orders will remain together on the MAR and on the orders tab. In addition, a care set will result when searching for a medication that is a combination medication. For instance, a Vandement, which is a combination med, will repl be replaced with two individual medications. When searching or clicking on the actual medication line item, you'll note that there's an order comment that will default stating what it's substituted for and what it's to be given with. When placing this order, you'll note that the one entry will result in two orders. To order insulin sliding scale, simply type in insulin or the word sliding scale to minimize your choice of results. Click on the yellow ruler and view the parameters set. Also have the opportunity of changing the parameters such as starting levels, increments, call if less than, or call if greater than. Hit calculate to see the changes within the grid. You also have the option to change directly within the grid if you so desire. Note within order comments that grid and populated automatically displaces order comments so that the parameters are viewable on the MAR.
A taper functionality is also available for selected medications. If you type in the word taper to view those selected medications and select one, you'll find a green taper icon that you must click on. You can indicate the start dose, route frequency, note the frequency must remain constant between all the tapered medication orders. What dose you'd like to reduce by and how often and what your desired final dose would be. Click on calculated steps to view the various separate orders that would be placed under this one order. By clicking OK and signing, you'll note on the Orders tab the icon that indicates that it's a tapered dosing order. By clicking on the plus sign, you'll see the individual orders that are placed within that order. PCA med orders also have a different format. In searching under PCA and selecting one of the PCA medications, you'll note that demand dose is a required field. Other options to populate are loading dose, lockout interval, four hour lockout interval, as well as a continuous rate. In the event that a dose or frequency change is needed to an active medication, simply right click on that medication in the orders tab and cancel and reorder. This will provide you to change the options or details for that medication. For instance, changing the frequency from Q24 to Q18. In the case where medication therapy has been stopped or needs to be discontinued, right click on the order and select cancel and DC. You should only use delete action when truly the medication should have never been placed on that patient or if it was a wrong drug, wrong patient scenario where you'd want to completely void the order. That's not the case and your clinically discontinued therapy, cancel and DC is your choice. If you'd like to cancel more than one line item at a time, for instance the nitroglycerin patch along with its patch removal, hold down the control key and select multiple orders. You can right click then and cancel and DC all at once. This will remove both orders from your active medication list. Lastly, a patient lock for a chart may occur. This occurs when another clinician or pharmacy is already in the patient's chart placing a medication order or verifying a medication order. You'll be notified of who the other individual is, but the only way to break that lock is either to wait till that other clinician's done or to call pharmacy at extension 2878.